the Crusades. Palestine became the center of a struggle for political and religious power when the Pope called for a crusade to free the Holy Lands from Muslim control. To Christians and Muslims, Palestine was the Holy Land, a place of pilgrimage for hundreds of years. After the Arabs conquered Palestine in 637, Christian pilgrims were still able to visit Jerusalem safely, but this changed with the arrival of the Seljuk Turks. In 1095, Pope Urban II called on Christians to free Palestine from Muslim rule. Knights and ordinary people set out, led by Peter the Hermit and Walter the Penniless. Most of them never reached Palestine, and the rest became a wild, hungry mob. In 1099, a well-disciplined crusader army recaptured Jerusalem, massacring its inhabitants. They established four so-called Latin states, or kingdoms, in Palestine and Syria. At first, the Saracens, as the crusaders called the Seljuk Turks, left the crusader kingdoms alone. Some of the heads of the Christian kingdoms behaved badly towards the Muslims. In 1187, Saladin defeated uh, the Christians at Hattin and recovered Jerusalem. In 1191, England's Richard I, known as the Lionheart, led an army to the Holy Land. He took Cyprus and the city of Acre, which had been under siege by Christian forces, but were unable to capture Jerusalem. He and Saladin signed a treaty sharing the Holy Land, including Jerusalem. The Christians founded a second kingdom of the Holy City in the heart of Acre. The Fourth Crusade began in 1202, but the Crusades were unable to pay Venice for transportation. So in exchange for transportation, they agreed to loot Constantinople on Venice's behalf. In 1212, up to 50,000 children from France and Germany set off for Palestine, but most of them died of hunger or became slaves. This is known as the Children's Crusade. The Fifth Crusade to Egypt failed. The last three Crusades were also unsuccessful. In 1291, Palestine was finally conquered by the Sultan of Egypt.